All right, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the uh, video on how to add a reset button to your filters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load this uh, Tableau for Beginners dashboard. Um, if you want to create this dashboard, I'll throw a URL into the uh, description and you can go ahead and just create everything um, and then set everything up. Um, Basically, the dashboard has a couple of filters here. Um, you can see category, all, filter, subcategory, binders. Um, and if you notice, the filters are set to, um, if you go to apply worksheets, they're set to all using this data source, which you need to check if you're going to add a reset button um, in Tableau. So that will come in handy in a little bit. I'll show you why that's important. I'm just going to change the size of this dashboard so it looks a little cleaner. Um, again, we have filters here. Um, and when you click all of them, so subcategory, um, accessories, for example, everything is filtered by everything. And I'll probably add like a year filter as well, just so you can see um, how to really reset everything. Okay. So I'm going to go and um, basically I'm pretend you're designing this for your boss or something and you need to add a reset button uh, for the user. Um, so if you want to make this look a little prettier uh, with everything, kind of the legends up here would be probably a good idea. And then the filter is down here. Category is really should be above a uh, subcategory. Okay. So, well, you might want to think about this also. People tend to hover up here. It's up to you. So, to add the reset filter button, um, you need to create a, a calculated field. So, you need to go to analysis and you need to type reset filter and just do this a string reset filter. So this just provides the uh, dimension for us to reset our filter. Click Apply and click OK. So if you notice in the dimensions column over here, you've created your uh, calculated field. So drag that into rows. Um, and then you get this. Uh, this needs some uh, a measure or something. We're going to add a button to it. But first, right click it. Um, go to, oops. Right click it, go to hide field for labels. So if you see that again, hide field labels for rows. Um, and then we want to add a button here for this ABC. So if you go to the marks card, it's automatic on text. So you can add a circle here. Um, and then we need to make this look a little more colorful. So if you go to the circle color, um, I'm just going to randomly choose this color because it's already available. Um, and then you, you can choose whatever color you want that matches your dashboard. Um, this pink color probably doesn't really match my dashboard, but we're just going to use it for uh, this purpose uh, to show you how to actually change the color. If you want to change this color as well, um, go to Format, and you can go to Font, and you can change this maybe to 12 or 14. Uh, font, you can change this bold, and you can change it to this pink color um, as well. Um, you can also uh, hide the title, which I would do. And now you have your reset filter. You can make this, so I just drag this a little bit uh, to make it a little more user friendly, and we can adjust that when we add it to our dashboard. So if you want to change also the size of the button, you can do that here. Um, and you can go back and forth. It's kind of an iterative process when you add it to your dashboard. So go to your dashboard, uh, click out of this format window. And I forgot to name this sheet. So if you want to go back to the sheet, name it reset filter or something like that. Um, go to the dashboard and then drag this over to wherever you want the button. 
So if you want it under the filters, um, you can go ahead and do that. Now it's going to show the title of the sheet here. So every time you add a dashboard, it shows what a sever the text is right here for the title. So just right click on that and say hide title. And then what you can do is go up here to fit. If you click in this little uh, the reset filter object, you can go to this down arrow, go to fit, and then fit width or fit height or fit um, entire view. It's up to you to really kind of uh, check however you want it. Um, and then this circle, of course, you can play around with the size also. So if you kind of go like that, or uh, the circle doesn't look big enough if we want to just leave it like this. So we can go back to the circle, make it look a little bit bigger. Now it looks a little bit bigger. Um, so it's up to you how you want to uh, resize this stuff. And if you want the button up here, just drag it up here. Um, and you can kind of lay out your uh, dashboard the way you want it. So it doesn't do anything right now, but basically we're going to make this uh, circle and basically when you click this it's going to reset all the filters here. So what you want to do now is you want to create an action. So go up to dashboard, go to actions and add action, go to filter and what you want to do is the source sheets. Um, you want to be able to um, just use the reset filter button. You want to collect or click select. So this means whenever you, it'll turn into a little button when uh, you click on it. And you want to target sheets, you want to go to uncheck reset filter and just check all the sheets you want to filter. So the key is here is you need to go under target filters, go to select fields, and you need to add a filter. So the filters we have, um, I said I was going to add a year filter, so I'll do that in a second. But just to see how this works, you go to uh, the field, and we have in our right, you can see we have a category filter and a subcategory. So you just enter whatever fields you have, whatever fields you want to filter. So category, and then you add it again. You add, you guessed it, subcategory. And these are alphabetical order subcategory, click OK. And now basically what this says is on select from this sheet, which is here, uh, this pink, you will reset the selected fields for category and subcategory. Um, and you don't want this reset filter checked. OK, so you're going to click OK. And don't worry about this missing fields on reset filter. Um, you don't need to worry about that. So click OK. Your action has been added. Click OK. And then you want to click this button. So this doesn't actually work right now. So the, I ran into this problem the other day, and it was super annoying, and I didn't understand what was going on for a long time. Um, I tried to look online, and a lot of videos didn't really have that. So what's happening is the reset filter, um, it's associated with what I showed you at the beginning. So if you go to the category filter again and how it's set up, um, if you scroll up and go to apply worksheets, it says all using this data source. So if basically what happens when it's selected is the data source is the sample superstore data source and the reset filter sheet is actually using that data source as well. So the reset filter button won't work if it's uh, filtering basically itself. So you have to um, basically go to apply worksheets. You have to select the worksheet, worksheets you want to filter, like I said, and you can't filter the reset filter worksheets or it won't filter anything. So go to, um, basically go to down button, apply to worksheets, selected work, worksheets, and uncheck reset filter and then click OK. And then for the subcategory, you need to do that for every single one of your filters. 
Um, go to apply worksheets, selected worksheets, uncheck reset filter, click OK. And then let's just make sure we have everything filtered. Um, if you go to, you know, we go to furniture and office supplies, just office supplies, let's do binders. Um, and then we click the button, then it works. So again, um, whoops, that didn't like nothing. So furniture again, everything, tables, reset filter, there you go. So again, just make sure you uh, apply everything. You go to selected worksheets instead of all worksheets or else you're gonna spend you know, a couple hours like I did trying to understand how to use it. Um, and then each time you add a filter, so if you wanna go to you know, this sheet and you wanna add um, a year filter, like I said, so just drag order date in here, go to years, select all, apply, and then go to show filter, and then go to your sales and profit dashboard, and you want to see filters, year of order date. So I added that over here. I'm going to just change the look of this. Single value drop down. I'm going to change the look of the category as well so it all fits. Single value drop down. Good practice is to kind of make this hierarchical. So year of order date and then reset filter. So you want to go to apply to worksheets. So this one's only selected work worksheets. Like I showed you in the previous tutorial, um, I applied this using data, um, using all the data basically. Um, but you can't do that again when you have the reset filter. So you want to select each worksheet um, that says which item will be filtered by year um, and don't select the reset filter button. So let's do this, kind of work with this. You can see it's filtering now. Um, category furniture, subcategory chairs, reset everything, and boom, there you go. Um, so there. Uh, all right. I actually uh, forgot. I noticed that the year is not filtering. So you need to go back to the dashboard and actions. Don't forget to do this as well because you don't want to send this to your boss without the reset button actually working on year. Um, remember, go edit. So basically, we added the year. Um, if we, so again, when I click this, if you notice down here, um, I click the reset filter button and it the category all resets and the subcategory all resets, but the year doesn't reset. And that's because we forgot to add to the action um, filtering the year. So if you go back to your dashboard, go to actions, select this filter, go to edit. We should probably name this filter. So reset filter. Uh, button. And all we really need to do now, because we already set up everything, is go to down to target filters, go to add filters, and then go to order date and year. So this will add the year to our filter list. Click OK, click OK. Now let's see if everything works. And fingers crossed, and it worked. So there you go. Uh, reset filter button. Um, you can style it however you want. Maybe a giant pink isn't really the best for this dashboard, um, but it's up to you to judge how to tell the best story you can. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by and hope you learned something. Um, happy visualizing.